Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul where I show you everything that I have picked up and found and discovered at my local Dollar Tree on a weekly basis. So my last week's Dollar Tree was super, super blurry. I'm so sorry guys, but I filmed that for over 30 minutes and I certainly was not going to sit down and film it again. If I noticed that this one is getting blurry, I finally found a different setting on the camera. So I hope that that helps. If I feel like it didn't, I'm just going to stop right where I'm at and switch over to the old camera just because if I was watching that video as a viewer I would have gotten annoyed and got right off of it but yeah so like I said I went to the Dollar Tree this week like any other week and I was able to find some new goodies which I love that we're able to do that week after week of course some of these things I've seen a couple other people haul some of them I have not so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into this Dollar Tree haul okay guys so first off I kind of have it spread out everywhere so I'm not going to go in any particular order but I do want to start off with the books so I did find this super super heavy book so this is 300 rise of an empire the art of the film so this is I got two of them because they were just a dollar hold on let me say of course it's the dollar tree but the price on this is $34.95 I don't know if you could see that there. Yeah, so it's really cool. It has plastic on it. Sorry, I have like a little mini light there. It's so rainy here in Baltimore, but it's super thick, guys, and it has everything. The illustrations are super good, and it's all about the 300 Rise of an Empire, and I've actually never seen that movie, but once I saw that book, it is so, like, high quality. Somebody in my life will want that book for sure. Now, I did find some other books this many so if you're at your dollar tree check out your book section i did notice this store in particular was super organized and normally it's not my most organized store so i was kind of proud of them i even said it to a girl i went to high school with that works there i'm like you, you know you guys have really stepped up your game it's really nice in here uh, but i did notice the new books so first off i got this vegan a la mode and this is for jeff from I know he just changed his channel name. It used to be Jeff Saves with Coupons. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but my one of my really good friends is a vegan. And these are all vegan desserts. And this price tag one here is, it's normally $17.99. I hope you can see that there. But yeah, it's pretty thick. It's a nice sized cookbook. Not blurry, okay. So let's see what we can find here. Wow, even doggy treats. That's pretty cool all different kind of ice creams and sorbets and oh my goodness guys root beer floats this is a matcha ice cream so yeah it goes through the recipe and they are all more than 100 frozen treats made from almond coconut and other dairy-free milk so jeff that's headed your way if you're watching this Yes, I know he's really going to love that. All right, so I got the kids some books as well. Michael, especially, Jordan loves to read, but Michael especially, I'm encouraging him to read more. His teacher brought up a good point that reading is like a sport. You know, when Michael started playing football, or basketball, or baseball, he definitely wasn't that great at it, right? He had just started, and the more he practiced, the better he got. Same thing with reading. I never really looked at it that way. Um, so I've been encouraging him to read a little bit more. So I got him the Ben Michelson Sparrowhawk Red Book. 13 year old Ricky Diaz. So yeah, it's just basically a Disney book. But I thought maybe he would like to read that. And then I think I got him one more. I did. Okay, so this is Deep Dive Soda, the electric eel. And it's by Scholastic, Scholastic, which is who does their book fairs. So I thought that that's a pretty good book. And it does have like little pictures. I think you can see those illustrations there. But it's still a nice chapter book for him to read. I keep thinking somebody's trying to walk in. It's maybe the delivery guy. I don't know. Okay, and Jordy Girl got three books this week. So two of them are the Disney Star Darlings. And this is Cassie Comes Through. It's just a really nice book. And you can see the back. It has all of the, the girls. And I believe that we had these before at the Dollar Tree. But it's super cute. Look at the pages. How it has like the pink little airbrush detailing so yeah got her that i guess because it's so gloomy outside and rainy here today you can see my light more and i apologize for that uh, but i definitely didn't want to come to you guys with a dark 
you know, video, especially after having a blurry one last week. Okay, so this one is Gemma and the Ultimate Standoff, and it's another one just for Jordy. And then the last one for Jordan is a Ever After High, a school story kiss and spell. So it's a nice hardback, and it is Ever After, Ever After High. So I do think that this would go good with her collection. Now some of the store, I mean the books from the Dollar Tree, they put this kind of um, fiction, whatever, it's like a sticker barcode, but some of the books don't have them, but every single barcode is pretty much the same. Um, I know that some of them do not have it. Like the cookbook doesn't have it. I guess they just skip down on some of them because if you scan them into like the internet or like eBay or anything like that, all types of different stuff comes up. Uh, but if you wrote in like the actual barcode that is on the book, then that specific book would come up. Random facts. All right, some food products. I saw Madison Pippins haul this last night. Um, and I'm not a huge Oreo fan, but I know these are great to sack up and bag up in little sandwich bags for the kids as like afternoon snack or even in their lunch boxes. And it's a pretty decent bag. You get eight ounces in here, and I know that the typical Dollar Tree bag is much smaller than that. So I went ahead and picked that up. I, I saw these last week. It's just a two pack of chips, 50 cents a piece. I mean, they do seem to be a bigger bag, but it is late July snacks, classic tortilla chips, and the nacho chipotle. So you can see them there. I got these for Michael. I thought that he would really like them. My store did have, what's it called? Zappos or Zappas, uh, the New Orleans, like kettle cooked chips. I didn't get any of those, but I did take some pictures of everything that I saw this week, but I did not get. So hang out for that at the end of the video. Just things that I thought you guys would like that I just did not see a purpose in my life. So yeah, hang out for those pictures. I found two different packs of granola based healthier cereal so the first one is kellogg's i'm trying not to pick them up too much because of the crinkling kellogg's low fat granola with raisins multi-grain cereal so it's whole oats whole grain wheat and almonds and then it looks like it does have some cranberries but it may not but these are great on the go i actually picked these up for my mom she loves stuff like this so i only got her one pack of these because she's never tried them before, so I want to test it out before I buy her any more. But I did get her two of two packs of the Cashy Go Lean. So this is the Cashy Heart to Heart Oat Cereal Organic Blueberry Custers. So you can see that there. And again, it's just the two packs that are quick and easy on the go. Busy work week. Most of you guys know my mom does hair just like me. And we're kind of in and out. Or if we need um, something to eat at work, it kind of has to be in between customers really quick. So those are kind of a great treat for that. Um, I think that's all the food I got this week. Yeah. Okay. So another thing that I picked up and I definitely have gotten before from my store it uh, is the Clean Life Multipurpose cleaning cloths if you see the guy these guys pick them up they're really good they're pretty absorbent they're not going to last you forever but they are multiple use um and you can use them multiple times so multi-purpose cleaning cloths you get two in a pack and it's ideal for wood glass leather electronics auto use wet or dry and it's 12 by 12 inches so it's actually really good if you guys have seen these in your store and you were thinking about get them just grab a pack and let me know what you think of them I think that they're pretty they're pretty good if you ask me so I did get two of those because my store sells out of those quick and it doesn't seem like we're getting them on a consistent basis now I did find some new men's work socks last week I got the what was it oak tree or something tree like the hunting brand socks not hunting but something like that this week we got the the work socks by job site so they are just work socks and they have the green top. You only get one pack, one in a pack, but I was okay with that. I got two of the white ones, one for Michael, one for Rick. And I also picked up two of the black ones and they're really nice. Good quality, nice and stretchy. Yeah, I really like them. So men's crew work socks, sizes 6 to 12, uh, sock size 10 to 13. Yeah. Oh, it's a Greenbrier product. 
Hmm, that's interesting. I've never ever seen these before, so maybe they're new, but they seem really good and nice quality. Okay, now whenever we have the Glad sandwich bags, oh my goodness. Hold on. I did it. I made a mistake, guys. I was just going to tell you guys, whenever I see the Glad sandwich bags that are the 30% bonus, so you get seven extra bags, instead of 22, you get 29. So you can see there. So now it wants to be blurry on that. Um, but of course, the box that I pulled out to show you guys is just the 22 pack. I don't know how I did that. Maybe I'll save it for next week and swap it out. Sometimes they'll let, well, they'll always let you do that. It's just you have to remember and take the time. But I did pick up four boxes because, like I said, I like to pre distribute snacks in our house. So, like the Oreos. Oops, sorry, those books are really heavy. <laughs> okay, so like the Oreos, right? It is 140 calories for nine cookies. So what I'll do is I'll bag up 10 cookies and that'll be like 150 calories a snack for the kids or even ourselves. That way they're already pre-portioned. And honestly, if you wanna use that tip in your house, a lot of times I bag them up and then I'll put all of the bags back into the empty popcorn bag or the chip bag. So when they see the bag of chips, they're like, oh, I want some, and then they open it and they just grab their sandwich bag out and the whole bag is full. So that's a good tip that we like to use around our house because again, it's very easy to overindulge and snack too much and your little 150 calorie snack can turn into the whole dang bag. So try to avoid that in our home if I can. But yeah, I always like to look out for the ones that have the bonus. Sometimes they'll have the gallon ones or the quart ones so definitely check them out um i did find some new kleenexes so i have a snotty nose runny nose boy in my house right now and i've been picking up a lot of tissues from like target during the christmas sale and also at the dollar tree different characters but a lot of them are girl characters and honestly michael doesn't mind but i wanted to get him some neutral packs and these are really cute they're smaller but it says new three pile kleenex ultra soft the softest most caring face facial tissues and you get six in here so I love this. The Dollar Tree brands, you get six as well, but they're a little taller, but these are perfect and they're super cute. So if my store would have had more, I certainly would have bought more, but they had two packs and that'll do for now. Um, I did end up getting some pens and pencils for the kids. Whew. Okay, so we had a bunch of Pentel, Paper Mate, uh, different kinds of pens and pencils in the store there are one pack two packs that i didn't get i took pictures of again that will be at the end of the video but my favorite pens on earth are the rsv pens rsvp pens ever since high school i've loved these but every once in a while the dollar tree will get the bonus pack where you get the two uh rsvp pens and then one extra of the Pentel Click and Go, which these are actually the ones that are the packs that I didn't get. I don't like a triangle triangular gripper i just don't like the feel of it in my hands but i did pick up four of these packs because i'm obsessed with rsvp now for the kids i they're really into lead pencils lately um so i try to get them as much as i can and this was a great buy so it's a five pack of paper mate uh lead pencils so it says replace your wood case pencil less breakage no need to sharpen great for standardized tests so it is a number two so these are just the plain pencil looking ones and you get five in a pack and then just to see how they like them i also picked up the colored ones so we'll see how they like these first i'll split them up equally is there's 10 of them so one person will have one more colored one than the brown one but i was going to get two and two but i made that mistake last time and they didn't end up liking the pencils so then i just had extra pencils which i actually just donated to the school but again 2019 trying not to over splurge overspend yeah 
it's ironic, right? <laughs> Bringing these Dollar Tree hauls every week. Anyway, so those were the pens that I picked up. I did pick up some Assure Band-Aids. Now, I have a ton of Band-Aids in my stockpile. Band-Aid brands, um, Curad, a bunch of different ones, but nothing as far as what I do at the salon compares to these because it says on here they're the fabric bandages. So they're kind of like that rubbery feel. Um, it's more textured and I just think that it sticks better on my hands in the water. I almost bought the waterproof ones, but I know for a fact those work for me, so I am taking those to work with me because my hands are a mess in the winter time. It is horrible. I need those scissors. Okay, I did find some coloring books. Yes, and they're thick ones. So I picked up two of each, one for my neighbor who recently lost her husband and she started coloring and then one for the giveaway. Again, I don't have a date for the giveaway, guys. I'm not procrastinating for any given reason other than the fact that I really want to put a lot of stuff together that I've picked up over the past year or so. So just be patient with me, but it is coming. So the first one is Every Little Thing Coloring Book and this one was $15.99. Uh, enter a magical world filled with your favorite things. So you can see it's just a basic adult coloring book. So I don't know if they're still just as popular as they have been, but to get, you know, a $15, $16 coloring book for a buck, you really can't beat it. So I did pick up two of those. And then this one I really liked. I almost got one for myself, but they only had two left. Um, crazy Color Me. Insanely detailed creations to challenge your skills and blow your mind. So it's really intricate. You can see by the cover alone. Let me show you one of his uh, designs here. So here's one there. So yeah, it's really, really detailed. Super, super intricate. Um, let's see what else we can find. Hopefully I don't blur out again yeah so this is really cool and nice so yeah these ones are actually normally $15 as well so again one for the giveaway when it does happen I'll probably wait for a slow week at the Dollar Tree and just focus all my attention on that uh, so yeah it is coming now I found some Nickelodeon figurines they only had three in my store and they only had one of each so I don't know how many there were I don't know if they're getting any more I don't know anything like that but they are Nickelodeon figurines at first I was just going to take a picture of them to show you guys and I'm like you know what I think Michael would like these on one of his shelves so we have a little Spongebob guy and it is Nickelodeon figurines so he'll be able to sit right there on his uh like shelf and then this one will take me back and maybe take you back too it's Hey Arnold Hey Arnold <laughs> and again it has the nice little disc for them to stand on and then last but not least, we have Stimpy. And Stimpy is the first one I saw. He was kind of with the glow sticks. And I thought, let me pick him up. Okay, here we are, found them. So we have Ren and Stimpy, Patrick, Arnold, and SpongeBob. So I did find three of the five. But yeah, they're pretty cool. It says collect them all. So yeah, I need two more and I will have them all. Now, last but not least, no, a couple more things. Okay, I did pick up some new sponges. Now, they had a couple three-packs. They also had some Ocella sponges, which are name brand, a two-pack. Unfortunately, I don't like the kind of sponge that it doesn't have like the holes in it. It's just like that uh, foamy kind of sponge. I don't like those at all. So I prefer sponges that look like that, that are actually sponges. So I did get the two pack of the Scrub Buddies in the blue. And then I also picked up the Scrub Buddies with the yellow and green. So I just really like these. And again, I prefer the one with the actual sponge on the back. Um, but yes, last but not least, I did start um, thinking about bringing back my candy dish on my station at work for all of my clients. Uh, what was happening before is everybody was stealing all of my candy and then my clients weren't getting any. So now our team has slightly, uh, went down in size a little bit so it's a tight-knit group and I'm really happy about that but at the end of the night I don't mind sharing I just don't like it when people take my whole jar and dump it into their pocketbook that can, that's when it gets a little too much 
um, but I did get this I think this is like a vase for like flowers or something for Valentine's Day but they didn't really have a lot of containers they have a ton of decorative boxes for gifts or for your Valentine but nothing like a candy dish from what I saw um, so I went ahead and picked up this one they have one that's similar that has the hearts more in the center and it says love but I thought this one was cute for my clients again for my station and for the inside I picked up no Jolly Ranchers because they tend to get really sticky and yucky and then they stick together it's like really bizarre I don't know what was happening there but I did get the cherry lifesavers because those were a client fave I also got the mint lifesavers as well and then just to kind of throw in something a little bit different I got a couple packs of the airheads now I did pick up the one that look like they are for Valentine's Day because there was about two more ounces in this than the other one. Oh yeah, so this one says 4.8 ounces. I'm almost positive the other one was like 2.4 or something like that. So this was about double the amount um, than the normal size airheads. So yeah, well guys, that was my Dollar Tree haul this week. There was some really cool, um, like the pretzel factory that Madison hauled as well. My store did have those. They just were not tickling my fancy. I think that it was white chocolate pretzels with um, peppermint or like dark chocolate with evergreen peppermint, something like that. I did take a picture of. There were some, what's that popcorn company? It's like Boom Chuck a Power or something like that. Um, they did have some of that in white cheddar, but I have had a problem with white cheddar recently, so I'm trying not to bring any of that into the house. So yeah, I was strong there, but Anyway, guys, that was my Dollar Tree haul this week. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I hope you're having a fantastic week or day, hour, minute, wherever this video finds you. If you're new to my channel, well, then welcome. I hope that you will subscribe before you leave. And as always, I will see you all in my next video.